Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode, Nightlight. Nightlight is requested by SpongeBob 222. So this episode is about when SpongeBob is reading a scary story to Gary and Spongebob becomes really scared by the next day he comes to work looking like crap not getting enough sleep so when Spongebob is afraid of the dark now Mr. Krabs suggested to Spongebob to go buy a nightlight so he doesn't get so scared in the dark so then Spongebob goes ahead and buys a nightlight and takes good old Mr. Krabs' suggestion. But then Spongebob is imagining other monsters so it leads to Sponge buying more nightlights and more nightlights to the point where there are lights all over his house. And it leads to Patrick having a sleepover. That's basically your plot right there. This episode of Nightlight in my opinion is a really fun episode. I thought the storyline as a whole was very well written. I thought the writers did a really good job with this simple idea. The simple things that happened in the episode were funny, were interesting, and it was just really fun to watch. Merman and Barnacle Boy. It was cool to see him appear here. Although Barnacle Boy literally only has like two lines in this whole episode and that's literally when they leave. How ironic, but Tim Conway did a really good job for the two lines he had for Barnacle Boy. Ernest Borgnine as Mermaid Man is the one that gets all the lines, and of course, he always does a fascinating job just voicing Mermaid Man. For the small amount of screen presence we saw with Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, it was really entertaining. It's funny to see Spongebob buy all of these nightlights because he keeps imagining all of these monsters at his home. Patrick coming over to Spongebob's house having a little sleepover. It was really cute and entertaining to see. So I can enjoy simple things that go on yet I could just get a big old smile on my face and just have a really good time. Patrick just walking up into the sun, that was very funny and of course it ends with Spongebob finally falling asleep so I gotta say I loved how the episode overall ended especially with how things were going on for one night. Spongebob and Patrick have their sleepover, Mary Man and Barnacle Boy come over because they thought Spongebob and Patrick were in danger when they really weren't, then the moth, and then you know it all becomes early early morning. My only flaws with this episode is one thing for sure. Why would Spongebob waste all of his money on so many darn nightlights when the sponge himself could have just left the lights at his home on. Did you not think about that Spongebob? It's off? But look, now my lamp is on. I didn't need no fucking nightlight. The scene with the moth in the final couple of minutes with the episode, it felt unnecessary. The moth character, first of all, you get introduced to the moth character. It might be possibly the only time you'll see the moth character. The moth came and it just went. So yeah, that felt a little weird right there. Don't get me wrong, it was cool seeing Spongebob saving the night even though it was nothing too big and all that. But it just came off as a little bit rushed and yeah, pretty unnecessary. Overall, Nightlight is a really good episode. It's a lot of fun, it's a simple storyline, yet the writers managed to make it creative in the best possible way. Nightlight gets a well-deserved 8 out of 10. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!